Hello and welcome to The Nurse Station. I'm Maria Mobley and this video is going to be quick to the point and really going to discuss the strategy for answering multiple response, select all that apply questions on the next gen NCLEX. So as you already know, this is it's past April. The next gen NCLEX dropped April 1st, so all your select all that applies are now on this scoring rule. Now, I've already posted a video about how it's scored. If you still don't understand that, please watch that video first. But the more I give these questions, the more I grade them, the I'm realizing there's absolutely strategies we can use to be successful. So what I want you to remember for this scoring model, plus or minus, and I actually don't know if they call it positive, negative. It literally just looks like this on all the articles. But with this scoring model, I want you to think your strategy is to not guess. You literally are going to only pick the answers you absolutely know. And why this is a good strategy is because with this scoring model, remember, you get one point for every question you get right. However, they take away points for every question you get wrong. So that's why a good strategy is to only guess absolutely, and I should say guess, only answer absolutely what you know. Because if you guess and you guess wrong, remember it takes a point away for every wrong answer, okay? So remember your maximum amount of points is the number of correct answer choices. Your minimum amount of points is zero. It's never gonna take you into a negative, um, point like deduction your just minimum is zero again if you haven't watched my original video on how these are scored please watch that but once we do a question you're going to understand why this strategy works and again i've we're we're at least where i teach we're starting to grade select alls in this manner and the more my students take it the more i'm like hey don't guess only pick what you absolutely know because if you guess again it's going to take away from your total points okay so I want you to take a moment, pause the video, and do this select all the apply question. All right, so when you read the question, it said the nurse is assessing a client with hypothyroidism. Which finding indicates to the nurse that the child's level thyroxin dose is too high? So I don't know what acronym your teachers gave you, but I always give this acronym to my students. H team for hypo and hyperthyroidism. So let's say hypo's on this side, hyper's on this side, right? So do you just put down arrows because that means low? And for hyper, it means high, so up arrows. So just a reminder to do select all that apply questions, you have to have the knowledge in the first place, right? That's why it's so important to read through some type of NCLEX prep content book have the knowledge in you. So hypothyroidism, low heart rate, low temperature, they're always cold, low energy, they're very tired, fatigued, lethargic, decreased appetite. You would think with um, like lowering heart rate and all those things, you think appetite would increase. No, they have decreased appetite and decreased metabolism. That's why even though they're not eating much, they're gaining weight. Their metabolism has decreased. On the opposite end, hyperthyroidism, I just want you to think somebody like constantly moving and anxious and nervous and irritable, high heart rate, very hot. They have an intolerance to heat. They're hot all the time. They have high energy levels, increased appetite, and very high metabolism. So if your metabolism is really high, they're just have this ravenous appetite. They want to keep eating, but they're still losing weight because the metabolism is so high. So with metabolism, don't just think decreased metabolism, also think weight gain. On the hyper side, don't just think increased metabolism, also think weight loss. So that's the acronym I give my students. And remember, anytime you're on hormonal therapy, so they have hypothyroidism, but they're getting level thyroxin to fix it. So anytime you're giving a hormone, to fix a deficit, you always have to be worried that they get too much of the hormone 
and what was being used to treat hyperthyroidism can hypothyroidism can actually start to have symptoms of hyperthyroidism. Too much medicine, we're giving them, we're giving them too much of the hormone and we're taking them to the opposite side of the spectrum. So you should have been looking for symptoms of hyperthyroidism. That means we gave them too much levothyroxine. So just so you are aware, let's say, and this is why it's such a good answer choice or such a good strategy not to guess, only go with what you know. So let's say I picked, I absolutely knew this one. I absolutely knew this one. I didn't really know about the other ones, but I guess this one. This is my answers, okay? But I did absolutely know these two were right. So let's look at the right answer. So if we are concerned they got too much of this drug, it's throwing them into hyperthyroidism, follow this acronym. This is the correct answer choice, right? Hyperthyroidism, tachycardia. Think ravenous appetite, way too high metabolism, so weight loss is correct. When we think about weight gain and puffiness of the face and things like that, that's hypo. This is not correct. So this is the wrong answer. Um, hypotension, no, that everything's elevated. So that's the wrong answer. And difficulty sleeping, yes, everything's heightened. They got way too much energy. That's the correct answer. And remember, I, we gave too much level thyroxine. So it took them from a hypothyroid state to a hyperthyroid state. When it comes to intolerance to cold, these people are always what? High heart rate, high temperature. They're always hot. They don't have an intolerance to cold. They have an intolerance to heat because they're always hot. So this is not the right answer. So look at this. Sorry, I wish my marker was a little darker for you all. Um, let me just do it this way. So this was wrong, this was wrong, this was wrong. So let's calculate our points. Remember, when I took this question, I absolutely knew these two were right. So I got plus one point for that one, plus one point for this second one right here. But I just guessed on this. I guessed on it. So remember, with this scoring model, I lose a point. So when I could have gotten two points without guessing, I actually only got one point. Do you say why your strategy is to not guess with this scoring model, where you select all that applies? Because every time you guess and you don't get it right, you lose a point. If you just go with what you absolutely know, so if I hadn't a guessed, if I had not have chosen this answer choice, okay, if I had not have chosen it, look, I at least would have gotten two points as opposed to the one. Remember, the maximum of points I could have gotten is the total correct answer choices. So your max points for this question equals one, two, three. These are the correct answers. But because I guessed, instead of just going with what I knew for two points, when I picked this one, it took away another point. So I would have only ended up with one point out of the three. So do y'all see, I kind of got excited when I was like, oh, why are we not teaching this strategy? It makes so much sense with this form of question. I'm gonna start doing more questions. I'm gonna let you know there's another scoring model that is this, and I'm gonna explain why it's good to guess. Okay, but for your select all that apply, remember in the old NCLEX, if you didn't get every single answer choice exactly right, you lost the point anyway. This one, you're still getting partial credit for your correct answer choices. So try not to take away from those points by just guessing the answer. So I hope this helps. I'm so excited for you all. And remember, I know the new NCLEX, is, it, it's, it's a new thing. There's always anxiety and fear when it comes to new things, but this is a great scoring model for you all, for this style of question. It is in your favor versus our old one. So hold on to those good things. Use this strategy, again, with select all that apply. With this scoring model, don't guess. Just get your, your, what you absolutely know, remember you'll get points for that. When you start guessing, that's when it starts deducting from your total points. All right, well, as always, we're better together. So if this helped you, encourage somebody else to use this strategy. All right, take care.